Low Life, it's a story of um, a woman and her ongoing relationship with a psychotropic living drug. And uh, I guess through the story, she's kind of lured by forces of good and evil for the ownership of her soul. And it's kind of abstract. It's, you know, it's a, I'd say it leans towards a uh, film noir mystery. We are inspired by moving to uh, the country from the city where we had lived for quite a while. And uh, I don't know, yeah, there, it's very vacant there. The, the land is very like wind sculpted and, and pretty desolate looking. So we kind of built the story around that and we we're inspired by that area. Nature seemed like a good place for redemption, you know? It's like a place to go and like examine your own soul, so that's kind of what our character does in the movie, and uh, we were maybe doing that ourselves when we, when we moved out there, so and that was part of it. And also a lot of just really uh, screwed up films that we like, you know, we, we are fans of Lynch and Cronenberg, and I think it probably comes out in the movie a little bit, so I wanted to revisit that, uh, that territory. We started with, uh, you know, like a one-page outline of a story, which was quite different. It was a story, well, it ended up being similar in an abstract way, it's like drug addict, gets a girl hooked, he goes. He, he gets her killed and goes to the woods to redeem himself and ends up in a giant trap at the end. And uh, so it went from that to a full screenplay. And we just kind of went back and forth with it for quite a while. We probably wrote for, you know, like six months before we really even started rehearsing. Uh, so there's a, there is a pretty uh, well thought out story to our, to our film, yeah. despite what people might think. <laughs> there's a lot of backstory in subplot stuff that we really had to work out for ourselves for the film to make sense to us. Um, but yeah, I'd say we only revealed about 60% of that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just to leave it, you know, leave it open to interpretation. Because I feel that that's kind of what I like in films. I feel like you can kind of take the parts that you don't see home with you and kind of shake it around in your head later. And that's what I really enjoy. Yeah.